Hello everyone, this is Rod Damien. Just wanted to take some time today to walk you through a income and expense sheet. For those of you who aren't sure what an income and expense sheet is, it is a way for you to understand the flow of money into your life and out of your life. So how do you make money and how do you spend money? Um, on a monthly basis, what we do uh, in our household is go through our monthly income and expense. The purpose of that is to allow us to know where we're at and uh, give us a gauge for where we're wanting to go. So if we're wanting to buy new things this month, or if we have a property that is you know, draining us financially, or if we have expenses or things that we're paying for on a monthly basis, reoccurring fees that um, you know, we're not really using but we're paying for anyways, it just gives us a chance to really get a gauge for where we're at financially each month and be able to prepare ourselves for, you know, what expenses we're paying for or, you know, th that we're paying for too many expenses or expenses that, you know, we aren't using anymore. So it's so important for you all to be able to take some time each month. We typically do it on the first. It's like a ritual that we do and we actually make it a game. You know, we, we make it a game in a sense where we see how much money we can save without having to cancel any of the things that we are using, whether it's internet, whether it's telephone, whatever it is, we see if we can negotiate with the actual companies, the providers of those services, and see if we can get, you know, whether it's a credit, whether it's a, a rebate, or whatever the case may be. You know, there's been several times that, um, you know, currently I am with TELUS as my phone company, and, you know, I've had Bell come over, oh, not Bell, sorry, I've had, um, the cable company <laughs> can't remember Shaw there we go Shaw come to our come to our door and actually ask us to transfer services with them and the with them comparing our monthly statement with TELUS they can save us anywhere from 50 to 75 dollars just for us switching over so you know for those of you who've ever switched over phone bills and, and phone companies you know for it, it could take some time and the hassle of you having to be home so that the representative of that company can come in, install the cable, or you know, give you a new modem, or whatever the case may be, it does take time. So instead of switching completely, what I personally do is give a call to TELUS and tell them, hey, you know what, I just had Shaw come by, and this is what they quoted me, and it's actually beating what I'm paying now. Can you guys beat that price so that I can continue to stay with you, because you know, I am you know, satisfied with your services, it's just that, hey, you know what, they came by, they gave me a better price, and I might as well go with them, because I like, who doesn't like to save 50 to $75 on a monthly basis for a service that I'm using anyways, right? So, there's a lot of different scenarios, so, you know, maybe on a later video, I can go into more depth, once you guys have completed this income and expense sheet, you've, you've gathered your bills, um, you've entered in all that information, and then now we can take it to the next step. So expect another video for you guys to be able to go through that actually walks you through how do you actually save money based on the things that you're already paying for. So stay tuned. So going into this spreadsheet, as you guys can see right here, you can see that you have the monthly income and expense. So this just tells you what this sheet is. And it's saved um, as monthly cash flow spreadsheet template. That way, you know, you don't... You, you, you don't mess up the the fields and the the formulas within the cells themselves but it allows you to just enter in the information and go from there so I'll go through it with you guys so this top portion here it's the income section so this is where we want to put all of the different accounts that we have so if you have a personal if those of you who have partners um, you know you might have a joint account and then you might also have a checking account so right here you want to put your current balances so you know, before we even get started, maybe I should say, you guys should grab all of your bills. So every bill, every every service that you pay for, I want you to gather all of them. Gather them all. So, you know, I'll pause for a little bit. <laughs> or what you can do is you can actually pause this video and um, you can go run and grab them and um, then you can pick it back up once you have them. So with that being said, so you enter in all of your, your account information here. So then that way you'll know exactly what your current balances are. And for those of you that, um, you know, that have jobs, um, you know, that work, that, that get a, a paycheck, or, you know, for those of you who are on commission, um, this section here is what you can expect to bring in this month. 
Okay, so what are you expecting to bring in? That's what you want to put here, and then what will happen is it'll total it for you right here. The next section is the expenses. So let me scroll down just a little bit so you can see it all. So the expenses. So when it comes to expenses, um, you know, a better way to look at it is what are you paying out? So you might have a mortgage, you might have a rent, you know, you have your water, your hydro, your gas, your phone, your internet, your cell phone. Um, nowadays, you can have your telephone with your cell phone. This all depends on your situation and what you do for your line of work. Um, you have your car loan if you do have that, car insurance, home insurance, life insurance, food, gas, uh, fun money. You know, it's so important to make sure that you're dedicating some of the money that you make on a monthly basis to fun because what's the point of working? if you're not having fun, you know, so now you're just working just to pay off debt. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll talk about paying off debt or eliminating personal debt here just in a little bit. Um, so your credit cards, for those of you who have credit cards, you know, credit cards are a, a good thing once you learn how to use them. And expect a video on how to use your credit cards um, and to be more effective when you're paying down your credit cards as well. So you put your credit cards in there and then a line of credit, that's what LOC stands for. Um, and if you have any other expenses, such as daycare, for those of you who have kids, um, and whatever else, you know, whatever else you have, you want to, you can enter it in, in these fields right here. And then once you put in all the information, then you can see that it actually gives you a total. Um, along with that, and within the, these fields here, you see that there's a due date. So, you know, you grab your bill, you can do it all in one line. So you take your rent, the amount due, when is it due? What account are you paying it from? You know, from the above accounts there, and then the payment method. So, are you paying with cash? Are you paying with check? Are you paying with Mastercard, Visa, um, debit? How are you paying? That way, it allows you to keep track of how are you paying for these things. Okay, so that is your personal monthly income and expense sheet. We're gonna go over the business here. So, for those of you who have businesses, as you can see, it's exactly the same. Um, a few differences here is just that you see right over here that you have business insurance, office supplies, travel costs, education, books, uh, credit card, same as the first one in the beginning. So for those of you who, has who have businesses, you want to enter in all that information uh, for your businesses here. Okay, so now let's jump over to the eliminating personal debt section or tab. <laughs> All right, so this is where we have a lot more fun. We get to see how fast are we paying off the debt that we currently have. You know, um, and, and let me just take a minute to talk about just the, the attitude when it comes to paying down debt um, or, you know, paying anything for that matter. Um, it's, it's, it's important to be aware of how do you feel or how are you feeling when you're actually paying for things, especially when it comes to paying your debt, mortgages, car loan, line of credit, credit cards, and so on. It's important to know where you're at with it because then if you're, if you're paying your debt and saying, man, I hate paying my debt and um, you know, it, I, I never have enough money at the end of the day and why am I paying this anyways? You know, it, it's a different way to come at it where let's say, for example, if you were to take the opposite of that where, man, I'm so thankful that I actually have a house to live in and that I'm actually paying my mortgage or a car loan, you know, like that, man, how great is it that you're able to drive a car from point A to point B and know that you're just making monthly payments. You know, a line of credit, credit card as well. You know, I, I love using credit cards because for one, um, it racks up points um, and two, it just tracks all of my ex expenses. So instead of having to keep every single receipt, all I need to do is just print off my, uh, my, monthly, my monthly statement and it has all of my expenses, you know, and one thing too that you'll find is when you start tracking, you know, how you spend money, you'll find out, you know, what are your buying habits? You know, are you buying stuff just to buy stuff? You know, I, I remember when I used to just buy things just to buy things just to say that I had them. And, you know, I end up having something that I don't even use and I end up having to sell it for a lower price or, you know, we'll go into that in another day. But, you know, we just it's just important to be aware of how are we feeling when we're paying our credit cards or paying any of our debt? Because if we can be aware of that, then we can start to shift, you know, how, how we make money because there are so many ways to make money in this world. It's just a matter of what is our relationship with money and that'll be a different video for you guys as well. But, um, you know, it, it's an important topic to really think about because based on your relationship with money will determine on how much you have in the bank account. You know, if you have a relationship where you hate paying for things or, you know, you, it's a struggle to make money or you have to work hard to make money, 
whatever the case may be, you know, it, 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 it adds into how you personally feel when it comes to spending money. Um, so important part right there. <laughs> be aware of how you're feeling when you're paying your, your, your debt. So what you want to do here, um, you can just flip back to your personal or your business as far as the, the costs go, or if you, you know, since you have your bills out already, all you need to do is, you know, you put your mortgage payment here. So what are you paying monthly? How much are you owing? And what is the interest rate? Okay. So then that way you're, you're aware of what interest are you paying for each thing. And, you know, there's been scenarios that I've actually called, you know, my mortgage company, I've called my credit cards and asked them to lower my interest rate. And a lot of them have. And that's the thing is that a lot of people don't, aren't aware that they can lower their interest rate or even raise their line, their lines of credit or, you know, their, their available credit just by asking. It's something that I do every six months with my credit cards. I call my credit card companies every single six months. And what I do is, you know, I lay them out in front of me and I, I see how much money can I create when I make these phone calls. Um, so I call the back of the credit card and, you know, I, I just, these are the two questions that I ask them. You know, obviously you want to build rapport when you talk to them and, you know, it, it's, it's all based on how you feel when you're calling them. You know, like I'll give you an example of that. You know, typically if you're in a bad mood, more than likely you're going to interact with people that are in bad moods throughout the day as well. But if you're in a good mood, you know, you're, you're smiling and you're actually happy for whatever reason, uh, more than likely you're going to experience someone that's a little bit happier than normal. Um, so what I do is I make sure that I'm in, in a happy state and you know, it's a game for me as far as being able to see how much money I can create out of a conversation. So what I'll do is I'll call them and say, hi, my name is Rod Damien. I'm just, do you, do you have my account information available? They say, yeah, I do. It's like, so it's like, oh, how can I help you? It's like, well, I would like to raise my available line of credit. And then I don't say anything. I just be quiet, wait for them to answer. More than likely they're going to say, oh, how much would you like to raise it by? I said, you know, what's the max I can raise it? You know, and then, you know, I go back and forth a little bit. They might say, oh, you know, um, it just all depends. And then they all, you know, what does it depend on? Sometimes they'll ask you that they'll have to run your credit. Um, and what I'll ask them is like, so how much can I raise it without you having to, to run my credit? And, you know, sometimes they'll say 10 grand. Sometimes they'll say five. Sometimes they'll say 15. Sometimes they'll say 20, depending on what your credit score is. Um, so if you don't know what your credit score is, you know, it's something that is, is, is good to know because then you can gauge where you're at with things and, you know, you can start to start to work on your credit so you can get more credit, you know, and go from there. You know, we'll, we'll have a whole video on how do you use credit in a good way to actually allow money to work for you as opposed to, you know, you having to work to pay off your debt. So that's the first question is, yes, I would like to increase my credit line. The second question is, I would like to lower my interest rate. Notice I didn't say anything. So I wait for them to respond back. And you know, if they say, oh, you know, how much can, you know, right now your, your, your interest rate's at 12%, um, and you know, what would you like to lower it by? I say, you know, what's your introdu introductory rate? Um, sometimes it's zero interest for six months or a year, depending on what kind of credit card you have. Um, and you know, you just have to ask them. You know, it's just a matter of asking because you don't get what you don't ask. So, you know, I asked, I ask for anything and everything. You know, when I go to stores or when I go, like, for example, Starbucks, I love, I love coffee and I love pastries. They're really good for me. I believe that they're super delicious. So what I do is when I pay for my coffee, I ask them, oh, can I get a sample of a, you know, a lemon bar or whatever it is, you know, and sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. But, you know, when you get it, man, it's actually brings a, a smile to your face and brings a smile to their face too. So that's a whole topic in itself. So going back to the spreadsheet. So you put all of your information for your mortgage, your mortgage, your car loan, your credit line, your credit cards, and so on. Um, if you have more credit cards, then you can just add more fields. Um, the way you can do that, you just highlight that. You press, um, I, I'm using a Mac, so you press Command C. You can use Control C. And then all, oh, all you do is just highlight the next two bars. Boom, you can go like that. Press Control V or Command V, and there you have it. You have more lines for your credit cards. And then you just change that to credit card number four, boom, and then credit card number five, and then credit card number six. Or if you have lines of credit, you can do the exact same thing. Okay. So now, now that you have all the information in there, um, it'll give you a good snapshot as to where you're at, how you're paying your credit cards, or you know what what are your interest rates 
Because a lot of people don't know what their interest rate is. They just pay their bill month after month without really knowing what their interest rate is or what their, even, what their line of credit is. Um, and, you know, the next video will go into more depth as far as how do you actually save money based on filling out this sheet. So with that being said, hope you enjoyed this time that we spent together going through the income and expense sheet. Um, with that being said, have a wonderful evening and I will, or morning or afternoon, <laughs> whenever you're listening to this and I will go from there. So this is Rod Damien signing out. See you later. Bye.